Field analysis of the rainforest in coastal regions class was the coolest class I've ever taken. It was a one week course, just one week. Okay. One week. One week long. They took us 60 students. They took us to North Stradbroke Island, which is this island like two hours north of where I was living. Okay. And it was just this rainforest. Okay. And there was AT, we would go ATV, like they would put us in these cabins, uh, cabins of five people. What? And they were all in the same strip and they were just party houses. Like every night we would, with the professors, just party with each the other. professors? Mm -hmm. Just all night long, just, we would be spending the whole day like hung over the next day, but it was class. And the, the, what they would do for class is they would take us in these cars, these in, on ATVs, and they would bring us to this random location on the island in the middle of the rainforest and say, all right, you have three hours here, go explore and bring us back anything that grabs your interest. And so we would just go and we'd, pick, we'd bring back like leaves and like insects and like point out birds and these professors would just tell us all about them and how they contribute to the ecosystem and like how to protect them and like conserve them. But it was the freaking dopest class. I that's like how I love to learn is like anything that sparks my interest and I get to know everything about it. Like I feel like that's like the coolest way to learn. Is there so. danger when like collecting these insects? Yeah, oh my gosh, okay, so get this, this, this girl goes and is picking, we're in this like shallow water and she goes and picks up this like clam with a, with a black octopus looking thing in it and brings it to the professor and the professor goes, you need to drop that right now. And she drops it and it's, it was a blue ringed octopus. And if anybody knows anything about blue ringed octopus, it is the most toxic or second most toxic creature in all of Australia. They're tiny and they get these little blue rings and they, their bite within like within a few seconds has enough venom to kill like 160 humans what yeah and she held it in her hand this blue ringed octopus how is this a like how is this a class it was just the dopest class i don't know australians fucking loose i don't know like dude okay Here's this and this little octopus whoa. in their hand Blue ring octopus. Yeah, and they bite you and they literally are That's one beautiful. of the most toxic. I don't know, I know. They're so, it's like how deadly. They have enough, despite its small size, it carries enough venom, venom to kill like hundreds of humans. Their bites are tiny and often painless, and many victims are not realizing that they have been bitten and until rip respiratory depression and paralysis begins. Like almost upon bite, they just all of a sudden you just go paralyzed and die. Crazy. Crazy. Okay, in America, this would never happen where you right. have these professors driving these students around in these ATVs. for one week, partying with the students. <laughs> like, are they fucking each other? The, the whole thing was just the cra- yeah, it was like, it was a disaster. Like, people would just be like, sleeping over and hooking up and like, doing all these things and the professors would just be drunk with anybody and they would like, drive the buses around, drunk as fuck with all the students in it and we would just like, we were on this island, there was like nobody else there, it was completely remote, and we would just, just be fucking around. It made no sense to me, it's like the craziest thing, but it was definitely a highlight of my trip, for sure. This is how classes should be taught. Should be, right? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, what the heck? Only one week too, and it was like the most fun. Do you remember when I came back from that and I was like, what the heck just happened yeah. to me? <laughs> and, okay, like, are the, are the teachers providing the alcohol? Um, the teachers are providing alcohol. They oh, like, are there stores yeah. that you can go? There's stores, okay. but we would okay. have we would they would make us these the professors literally would make us these elaborate dinners, these elaborate seafood dinners every night with like lobster and new kinds of fish and shrimps and like rice and pastas and like every night was a different menu. They were like four course meals for free, all of this for free, and then like we'd go fishing off the dock and like reel it in and cook it that night, and then they would provide goon which is like wine bags basically for dinner and we just like get hammered on wine bags and then we'd like go to the liquor store like two miles away and have to buy a bunch of tequila for them it was just it was that's just crazy. the funniest time ever that's probably why australians like my stereotype on australians are they're chill as fuck yeah. and that just builds to the stereotype yeah. like that's if that's how the school system is over there like you're gonna naturally just have a bunch of chillers totally. you know what i mean like totally. that's fucking crazy dude that would never happen here no like people flip the fuck out if you like walk out of the fucking line, line yeah. to get on the bus you know no, what I mean? and so here they are cool. going yo like go find take all this stuff out. like Bring us yeah. some stuff to look at, and this girl brings back a fucking poisonous octopus. You yeah, know what totally. I mean? like, that's it was crazy. The, it was the most bizarre, but there was like 
I just remember like soldier crabs and we were picking up different types of worms and this one of the professors was just like walking around with a snake stick and like poking at logs like trying to find snakes to pick up for us like it was just the most like bizarre class it's yeah, it's like, not regulated no, which is dope it's, so it's dope. like it's self-regulated it's so dope i loved it i loved every minute of it yes so you got you got good grades while you were studying abroad yeah, somehow. and you barely went to school that class was actually probably my worst grade because we had to turn in this project at the end of, at the end and my whole house was like too hungover so we like didn't fill out half the thing but really it was still so fun oh i don't i don't even care it was so worth it the do, you, 